And a four-day week option to bring students back to the classroom is on the table. CPS Superintendent Peter Stiepelman presented this option to the school board last night. ABC 17's Ryan Cleveland is live in Columbia after talking with community members about the proposed plan. And Ryan, with that plan, social distancing, though, would not be possible. Deb, Dr. Stiepelman says in that four-day week plan, social, di social distancing would not be possible. And some parents and family members of CPS students have differing opinions. So I know school wasn't created for them to babysit my kids. CPS parent Brianna Barron said she is ready for her son, that is a third grader, to be back in class because she works nights to accommodate if her child had in-person classes. She said even though social distancing wouldn't be possible with CPS's proposed four-day week plan, it doesn't worry her. Money doesn't worry me because these are children. Their immune systems are really strong anyway, and like during flu season, they don't social distance. Like they're all wiping their noses and wiping their hands on each other and touching all the same things. But other people don't think the plan is a good idea. Chastity Sanders has a younger sister that is a CPS student and does not agree with the plan. Kids don't listen. <laughs> Kids don't listen. You could say, I'm going to send you to school with the mask on, but who's to say they ain't going to take it off five minutes after getting on the bus? And then 15 other kids are exposed. Sanders said she wants parents to have the choice to send their kids back to school and not make it mandatory. I think it should just be the parents' choice. The Board of Education is expected to vote on the proposed four-day week plan at its meeting on Monday. Reporting live in Columbia, Ryan Cleveland, ABC 17 News. Ryan, thank you. Now, if the board approves the pl proposed plan, elementary kids would return to classrooms as soon as October 19th.